Hi, my name is Leif. I want to talk a little about making gears. I work as a mechanical designer and I've noticed that many mechanical engineers are reluctant to design gears into their projects. The reason in many cases is that it is considered to be complicated and expensive to integrate gears into the design. I want to show in this video that it doesn't have to be that way. As you can see, it's possible to mill a gear with a normal end mill in a 3-axis CNC machine. In fact, it is easy to make different special gears. <clears throat> in this case, I've made a gearbox with one slotted gears. And here you can see the function of this gearbox. In order to be able to mill the gears without special tools or machines, I've modified the profile slightly. I've used these modified profiles in many years and in many projects. Here you can see two gears with traditional profiles. The small gear have 10 teeth and is, as you can see the roads are a little undercut, making them a bit weak. This is gears with modified profile. And as you can see, the smaller gear looks to be stronger as well as being possible to mill. So, how about material? There's many videos on YouTube showing how to mill gears in wood or plastic. And this is probably because that for a standard gear profile, you need to use a very thin mill, making it almost impossible to mill thicker gears in tougher materials. However, with this modified profile you can mill with the same diameter on the mill as the model you want to make. Here I'm making a 14 teeth gear with module 4 in stainless steel using a 4 mm end mill. In this case I will mill 14.8 mm deep. This is the true speed that I was, it was milled in. No fancy special tools or tricks. So let's use the time to go over some parameters you need to know to make gears like this. If you multiply the number of teeth with a module, you will get the pitch diameter. Add two times the module and you'll have the top diameter. In this case, 14 times 4 equals 56 mm pitch diameter. Add 8 mm to that and you have 64 mm top diameter. I make the blank 64.2 so that I will mill the tops also when I mill the gear profiles. The first gear I mill, I use the radius compensation that is exact the radius of the mill. In this case, 2.0 mm. Then I will measure the gear width and adjust the radius compensation so that I get a, a appropriate clearance for the gear. The gears are intended for, for an electric kick bike powered by a cordless drill. I figure that 0.08 to 0.1 mm clearance will be a good value. I don't want to make it too tight and neither too rattly. If I want one teeth tenth of clearance between two gears, each gear should have a gear width reduced with 0.05 millimeters. That means that the profile should be offset at half that value, 0.025 millimeters. Okay, so now the blank is finished, let's mill the teeth.
So now we've milled the gear. This is made in stainless. And now it's time to measure. Uh, we're going to measure the gear width. And in order to do so, I'll break away these small pieces that sit between the, the gear tooth. I'll have to take this one too. Okay, so now I can measure over these two here. Okay, so normally one would have a, a special mi micrometer to, to measure this, but for this gear I think it's okay. So I get 18 1850 and for zero clearance there should be 18497 and maybe I want like 0 0.08 in clearance between these two gears so this gear should be 0 0.04 under so I would uh, aim at a uh, gear width at uh, 4, 5, 1845. So I want uh, four hundreds as clearance. So that means I would change this two millimeter radius compensation to 1.98 so like that and I'll just run it one more time and this time I run full deep uh, and uh, we'll see what we get Okay, so now we have uh, milled with uh, try to get a good reading here. Forty eighteen forty six. Forty five, yeah. I think that's as well as I can measure with this without a micrometer. But what do you think? I think we got a nice looking gear. It's in stainless steel and you see the surfaces are very nice. I think this is a very good way to make gears. So, thank you for watching. If you want to use this method for some gears, you can email me how many teeth and what module you want to make. And I will email you a file with a CNC code that you can cut and paste into your CNC program. I have files for 10 to 100 teeth and every module between 0.1 to module 10 instead of 0.1. The file name will hold the information about the gear width for zero clearance and for over how many teeth to measure. Thank you for your time.